Hello, welcome to West and Me Sims. My name is Kelvin and how are you doing? So I'm going to start off a new video series. I'm going to have a little bit of a tutorial session with you guys. Going through build mode tools in the Sims. I'm going to use the Sims 2 as an example and maybe some of the ideas can translate well in the Sims 3 as well as the Sims 4. Who knows? So let's check out one of the tools. So the build mode tool I'm going to focus on today is this one, which is the split level interior foundations tool. So what most of us would do is to just put on like this and put some staircases on the side. And we can have a stage for our band to perform on or section of part of the house to have a split level and have stairs to connect it such as having a bedroom and a study like that so when I introduce to you five more interesting ways to use this split level interior foundations so the first tip I'm going to show you is the sunken room. So it's basically a reverse of a raised platform. So what I'm going to do is like, let's say I decide to have one of the corner to be in a sunken living room. So I have to, so I'm going to build the split levels in all the other parts of the house, like so. So I have staircases to, for Sims to able to access the lower ground. And then I would decorate the room. Like having some sofas and a TV and a coffee table as well. And by the way, I actually did this in my 70s house build. So you can check the video out. And there you go. The sunken living room. The next tip I want to share to you is building an L-shaped stairs or U-shaped stairs. For this, you need the move objects on key to be on. And first, I will have one square unit of the split level foundation. And I put a staircase here. And on the upstairs, I need to have at least a floor tile, three to four steps away. And there you go, you have an L shaped stairs. I'm just going to have the railings to complete the look. I have railings on the foundation. For U shaped stairs, it's a little bit different. You need two units of foundation. So put one connecting stairs at one side and on the other side I also need to put a portal to connect to upstairs and as same as the L-shaped stairs you add in railings to and fencing to complete the look as well as you can add Four paper and also four tiles to match your surrounding room. The third tip I want to share to you is a decor counter or a gallery. So let's say you have a section of your house is it's a weird shape like that. So instead of buying a table to fill in or a counter to put in decorations, I'm going to use a speed level foundation to fill up the gap there. And I will then put in any wallpaper and floor tiles to make it look really nice. And then I put some decorations on the foundation. The good thing about 
this foundation compared to counters or tables is that you can put decorations that are meant on the floor to be on a one level higher up and put a picture or some wall decoration behind it to complete look and that's about it the next tip I'm going to show to you is a customized bay window. So instead of using the bay windows they have in The Sims 2 ga games or any other game, by default, you can actually have a customized bunk belt. So you're going to have a section of the wall like that with two diagonal walls jutting out and I put in the windows that I like. Then I draw the foundation. You might need to draw a little bit bigger than the foundation itself. And then you cut off the extras later on. Then add in floor tiles and wallpaper to finalize the look. There you go. And then the final tip I want to share to you is a flat roof option. So as a slate level foundation you can put on top of, of your house provided that you have put in floor tiles as a ceiling and you put in the slate level foundations over it. And the best thing about it is you can paint it wherever it color you like and you have a nice board band on top and you may not necessarily need to put uh, exactly the shape of your house you can jut out a little bit for a little di dynamic look That root style is actually pretty good for community lots, so you might want to try that out. Okay, that's pretty much what I want to share with you about the sleep level foundations. What do you think? Please leave me a comment. And also, if you have any more ideas how to use this sleep wall foundations or platform tools, do let me know in the comments as well. And don't forget to like share and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more updates on Red Close Sims content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!